Cracking my balls in there?
I get along with Indian women, not so much men. Indian men tend to be very sexist and very degrading towards women, so I don't really get along with that. Uh, Middle Eastern guys are kind of the same way. Not all of them, but most of them. So, not necessarily ones in America, but if you see some of the ones that are in U in Europe and stuff, like, oh no, man, they seem really rapey in my opinion. Well, okay, so the thing about that is Middle Eastern men, especially European Middle Eastern man men, they're either super rich or they're like the polygamist type, you know? So they kind of come to Europe, I think, in my opinion, from what I've seen and what I feel, with the same values as they did in their home country, except for the women. And I think that's why most of the time the women, the Muslim women, are a lot nicer, in my opinion than the men are because a lot of them don't like the sexism and they don't like the whole like not that they hate their religion it's just like they're not really into polygamy like that so to me i feel safer around muslim women than muslim men that's all i'm saying I mean, I know how the Nordic are very, like, equality-based. Like, the women are treated equally like the men. So I can see how a lot of them see that as a... As a attack, thank you, on their culture. Because now there's a bunch of, like, Middle Eastern immigrants who are like, you're not allowed to treat women equally, and they're like, what in the hell? Like, we've done this for centuries. Like, you can't just come in and tell us how to live our lives. And I think that's a lot of where the whole, like, neo-Nazi thing comes from. Because they're like, you're ruining our way of life. And then, you know, so. I personally just see it as feminism and sexism. So for me, it's pretty easy because I'm a woman. So it's kind of like, well, this guy's going to rape me and this girl isn't. So for me, it's a pretty easy choice. But I can see from a Nordic perspective how that's very, very annoying because... A person is trying to force you to change your entire culture based on their beliefs and especially when they give you refugee refuge I guess because a lot of the Middle Eastern people are supposedly refuge seekers but they want to come over and then try to change everybody's culture and yet they're still the victim so to me it kind of doesn't make any sense but in terms of uh, like actual refugees who come and exercise new freedom rights that they don't actually have in their home country like yeah I believe that but otherwise like I'm just I kind of agree with the neo-nazi thing because it does kind of seem like you're there to rape women and implement your own culture when you don't value their culture you know so to me from an outsider reading the news it kind of makes sense why neo-nazis are like you're just coming in to harass our local people right because you're not really respecting the European culture you're just bringing your own culture and then being like, fuck you. But then you're still saying that you're a victim of your own country, but yet you want to force everybody. Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> to me, it doesn't make sense, but. Well, I'm in America and we take in quite a bit of refugees, refugees. So to me, it makes sense why a lot of Europeans are like, uh, you're kind of forcing our people to try and agree with your religion. And apparently you're a victim of your country, but yet you're here doing the same shit. Like, are you really a victim? Like, <laughs> what is going on here? So as an American, I can kind of understand with the whole immigration thing where it's like, you say you're a victim, but you're like, you're kind of a problem. <laughs> No, that's what I meant by that Indian post, because I'm like, you're a victim of your Indian's caste system, and yet you're here driving like shit and trying to murder everybody. Like, are you really a victim here, or are you just, like, talking shit? You know what I mean? Like, if you're here really to escape your country, then why are you treating it like it's your country? Like, it's not your country. You said you hated the caste system, so why are you doing it to everybody else?
Well, if you don't hate the caste system, that's fine because there's a lot of people who can deal with you that way. So. Where is my ginger root? There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't pick it up. Um, this actually happens with Mexicans too a lot because they're like, oh, so you're like trying to run away from the Mexican government, right? So why are you doing the same thing here? Like you don't deserve to live in America. And it's like, you know, you can't really say much about that. And to me, it's kind of bullshit because I feel like there's a lot of Mexicans and Hispanic people who actually enjoy their rights in America because they feel like they don't want to live with so much crime. And then we, we have a bunch of frat boys here who are like even worse than the cartel because <laughs> they'll sue you and then it would be legal. You know what I mean? It's like the laws don't apply to you even if they are the laws and they're written for everyone. They're not going to apply to you because that guy went to Stanford and you didn't. So now you're fucked. So I feel like in a sense it's kind of like the cartel. So. That's just my opinion on the situation. I personally don't care. You can do whatever you want. But the consequences are also going to be yours to pay. Like, think about it, right? If I try to run, like, hypothetically speaking, right? Say I was driving my car really close to a motorcycle. And that motorcycle just happens to be... Happens to be part of a motorcycle gang. Right? And he calls his friends and he goes, Hey, this fucking bitch with this license plate was fucking following me around. And what if they paid off the cops? Then it's like, well, even if you call the cops, nobody's going to fucking help you. Right? But then it's like, okay, so let's say it this way then. Let's say I broke the guy's leg because I was speeding. And then all his biker friends come to the thing and then like really fuck you up because they have friends in prison, right? To me, that wouldn't be really of a surprise, but to me, it would kind of be like, well, you know, I'm kind of happy it happened, especially if it's in this area. Cause I'm like, we all know how many little kids ride their bikes and I know the laws and no police officer can actually stop you. Even if they knew that you would be a danger to everybody. There actually is no law saying that they can actually arrest you before an actual crime is committed. So, I mean, to me, I would see the Hell's Angels as someone who can, you know, I'm not saying Hell's Angels as them specifically. I'm just saying biker gangs in general. Like, they scare away potential people who could cause a serious car accident with a pedestrian more so than a police officer can, right? Because you're not afraid of a police officer. You're afraid of a biker gang coming to murder you with their prison friends. Right? Because if you were obedient of the law, you wouldn't be speeding in the first place. In a very... What is it called? Um, what is it called again? Like, you know how, like... It's not school. It's like when you're... Like, the maximum speed limit would be like 30 or 20. Like, what is that called? I forgot what it's called. Um, no, no, no. Even when there's no school, there's like suburbs, you know, and most suburbs, like they don't want you driving more than like 20 miles per hour. Right. And then you're over there driving like 50. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or like you're, the speed limit's 15 and you're going 30. And it's like, yeah, I understand that the cops can't stop you because you have, you're rich. You know, you went to fucking Stanford and shit, even though Stanford is like 90% bikers, bicycles, bicyclists, right? So, I mean, I'm not really sure where exactly you guys are going with this, but it's pretty terribly because it's kind of like if you if you don't really like living in this area and you don't like being surrounded by people on bicycles, then maybe you need to fucking move. 
because especially in Palo Alto and Mountain View and Silicon Valley, like we are known to have the most bicycle friendly places. If you consider like Sunnyvale or like Santa Clara or like, you know, Mountain View, Los Altos and Palo Alto are the most bicycle friendly cities. I mean, you can try doing that shit in San Francisco, but I can almost guarantee you're going to lose a fucking leg. So, all I'm saying is, I know that the cops can't fucking touch you until you actually fucking successfully kill somebody. Which actually has happened because, guess what, there's the Sunnyvale situation and the cops couldn't be like, oh yeah, I know this guy's going to go commit fucking some stupid shit. They can't do that. They have to wait until you actually crash into somebody and then they're like, well, now we can arrest them. But otherwise, they can't touch you. So in a way, I am pretty much telling the cops, like, I understand you're following the rules. I understand you're trying to do your job. But honestly, like all these people who are actually hurting people are getting away with it. And I'm just letting them know that there's a lot of criminal organizations that can prevent people from getting hurt. Because they're scared of them. So. Well, I'm from Mountain View and we don't really have dirty cops. There's dirty cops in Palo Alto, but I'm in Mountain View. <laughs> so I'm not really sure like how to relate to that. There are dirty cops in Sunnyvale as well. And... Well, I'm not really just talking about, like, fake shit, you know, or, like, oh, yeah, imaginary stuff. Like, I am fully aware that there are a lot of kids who ride their bikes here. And I also know legally the cops actually cannot do a single thing to stop you until you actually hit a fucking child or a human walking on the sidewalk. Because that is the law. They cannot touch you. They cannot arrest you. They cannot profile you until you actually fucking kill someone. Which I think is ridiculous. Because it's like, even drug dealers can tell that you're a fucking danger to other people. <laughs> you know, so for me, it's kind of ridiculous that the cops can't even do that. But they can. So to me, it's kind of hard to support the- Oh, I don't need the cops to help. Like, the cops can't even help. Does that kind of make sense? Like, m uh, motorcycle gangs and, like, criminal organizations can probably help me stop crazy drivers like this more so than anyone, right? <laughs> like, um, in Taiwan and stuff, like, we just, you know, like, they're not going to be able to ever earn enough money to buy a car. But... In America, a lot of people are like, yeah, maybe we should just still sell them cars because then the bank can earn interest. And it's like, I mean, yeah, if you really think the lives of innocent people are going to be worth like 10% of that interest loan. So I think that's why a lot of times people are like, yeah, we hate the banks. <laughs> so I'm not trying to be on that side. Well, they can do math, right? Because thanks to you, they are denied pretty much everything. So they kind of have been forced to live paycheck to paycheck. So it's kind of hard to deny them that their math is bad when you've ensured that they will never, ever get another job, right? So for you to be like, yeah, you can't do math, it's kind of like they kind of have to do math or else they'll be homeless, right? <laughs> so it's kind of hard to be like, oh yeah, you're terrible when it's like, they have to fucking do it, even if they don't want to. No, Charles Manson said this a long time ago. He was like, all I've ever known is jail. So you're going to threaten me by putting me in jail? Like, I've this, this is all I've ever known. I've only known jail. I've barely ever been a free citizen before. I've always only been through the judicial system because that's just what happens constantly, right? That's what he said. He's like, all I've ever known is jail. Like, how are you going to threaten me? 
I think he was laughing too, and a lot of people really liked it because they were like, yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense. You're threatening him about putting him in jail, but it's like, I think he only had like one or two years as a free man and he went back to prison, right? <laughs> so he had two years of being a free person and he was just like, you're threatening me again to put me in jail again after I've only been out for like two months or two years or something like that. And I was like, you know what? That kind of makes sense. It's not really a punishment at this point. It's kind of like where he was born and raised. <laughs> so you're going to put him right back. Like that's not a punishment at that point. A punishment is when you take away something that someone has always had, you know? So if you want to punish someone, you would be like, okay, well, you're no longer going to get this when you get it every day, you know? But it's like when this person never had it, yeah, exactly. It's like threatening a person that you're going to take away their car. And it's like, I've only always taken the bus. Like, how are you threatening me? That makes no sense. I don't even have a car. How are you going to threaten me that I'm not going to be able to drive? Like, I don't even have a car. What are you threatening me about? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what a lot of salary workers were, like, trying to threaten people with. And people are just like, this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I can tweet it and, like, bring up a whole bunch of evidence as to why people hate immigrants because they drive like shit and try to kill literally all the pedestrians that live there. <laughs> so that's also a huge problem. And I guess I would not say I'm Blue Lives Matter because I know there's a lot of corrupt police officers. So for me, it's more like... I support good and clean police officers, but I'm not going to be like, oh, blue lives matter because I know a lot of them are corrupt and that's why they act like crackheads because it's kind of like, you know, they are fucking doing something that clearly is not legal and that's why they freak out all the time. I know. And that's why some police officers are nice because they're probably not doing drugs. So, I mean... I much rather just be very specific as to why and who I support and why I support certain cops rather than just be like blue lives matter altogether. Because I feel like the problem now is not supporting blue lives. I think it's getting rid of the corruption. Well, you can't really be useful to the cartel if you don't do what they tell you to do. So at that point, what's the point of like keeping you around? They might as well just arrest you. And put you in prison so that way you can't continue to pretend like you're better than everybody else. I mean, think about it, right? If a cop is selling cocaine and he's arresting cocaine dealers, like I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of cocaine dealers that want him dead, right? But then he keeps continuing pretending like he's a good cop. So I'm pretty sure cocaine dealers want him dead and I think a lot of good cops also want him dead. So like, I don't really see the problem here. Don't look at me. I fucking hate Seraphine. I thought she she is really easy to counter. Just because I personally don't have damage. Why would I build damage? I don't think this has any tanking. Why am I saying this? Because on my Twitter, I always take pictures of... Okay, so you know how, like, people have to take pictures of cops, right? So, for me, I don't really see the problem taking a picture of cops when they're doing good. You know what I mean? Is I feel like m the problem more so now is, like, there's only pictures of cops doing bad stuff, but there isn't any pictures of cops doing good stuff, and that's kind of sad. Because, like, I grew up with D.A.R.E., you know, like, the 
drug program, right? And a lot of the pictures were taken for publicity. So, like, for me to grow up with D.A.R.E. and then have everything turn into, like, Black Lives Matter, I just, I don't know, man. That I should just support organized, cr organized crime, which is funny because I pretty much already have. Because <laughs> I was like, well, if the people, if the police aren't going to protect the citizens, then I'm pretty sure the citizens are going to find somebody else to protect them. And most of the time, that's just criminals. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. It works for me either way. Because I'm friends with everybody. And, like, it's actually really funny because people are always like, Yeah, health angels are criminals. I'm like, you realize there's very, very limited amount of information publicly available as to what type of crimes health angels commits. I was literally just talking about motorcycles and how there's a lot of dangerous drivers. And that's why I was taking pictures of you guys. Because I'm like, this guy's a fucking dangerous driver. Like, if they don't hit another car, they're gonna hit a child. <laughs> so, by all means, please speak up so everybody can know who you are. It's your freedom. You can do whatever you want with it. Well, most of the time when I'm talking, it's not for myself, right? <laughs> I, like, I don't crash myself into a wall. <laughs> like, you crash into me. So, I'm not really sure, like, what you're saying. But, I'm not hitting a wall. I'm being crashed into. What does that mean? So... Say I'm driving, right? It's not like I'm hitting your car because I'm going so slow that it's literally impossible for me to hit you going at such a slow speed. Thank you. So the only person trying to hit me and claim illegal fraudulent claims with their insurance is you. Because if I'm driving 20 miles an hour and you're driving 40, there's no way that I can be the cause of an accident. I'm going so fucking slow that there's literally no way for me to cause an accident. And I think that's why a lot of t p times people are just like, you know, honestly, what's the point of buying all this stuff? It's not like you're going to fucking help me. And I actually have a few fucking claims like that. So, I mean, I know Santa Clara is all kinds of fucked up because people are like, oh my gosh, Santa Clara Law School is so good. I'm like, you realize all they do is drugs, right? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> are they really good or like, because I can get more loyalty from a drug dealer than you. Just saying. And I'm pretty sure they have better lawyers coming straight out of Mexico with no documentation that are going to be more obedient and not a little bitch like you are. I'm just saying because, like, we all know that Santa Clara is really corrupt. <laughs> like, we all know the Santa Clara cops are very, very dirty. <laughs> Especially the ones near the school and the courthouse. None of them are clean. No, that's kind of, like, that's kind of my point. Like, what's the point of supporting the police when they have no loyalty and they don't protect the citizens? You might as well just go support the cartel at that point, right? Because at least when you pay the cartel a protection fee, they're actually going to protect you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you pay the taxes for the police, right? But they don't do shit for you. So what's the point of you taking my fucking money? I could have given that money to somebody else who would protect me.
Oh no, I don't need this. Uh, wind trading information is more useful for me. Just because I know a lot of, um, how do I say this? There's been a lot of e-girls being like, well, we're just going to quit the game, you know? Because that's what they do. They, like, not, I don't want to say bandwagon, but they'll be like, oh yeah, let's play League of Legends now because that's where all the guys are, right? Who will donate money, the most money to us, right? So then they'll go to one game, bombard it, and then literally shit on the whole entire community to the point where everybody wants to quit it and nobody wants to ever play the fucking game anymore. And then they're going to be like, yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter for me. I'm a fucking girl, so it doesn't matter if I ruin your community. I'm still going to get money because I know where the guys are going to go. So they come, shit on our community, and then leave. And they're like, well, it won't matter to me because I will always have another one. That's kind of why I report this and the whole win trading and elo boosting. And that's why I do the federal stuff, you know. So. If they try to do it again, then... I wonder how many times she's going to ult. I mostly just report them because I know they like to be like, oh yeah, I'm a Dota and CSGO player and then brag about it to everybody. And then when the real players come around, they're like, no, 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 we need a region lock, okay? This is like illegal. They can't be doing this. They can't be in our country right now. It's totally illegal. They shouldn't even be able to play. That's why I report you. Ah. <sighs> I wonder if this guy will get beat up if you try to say this to a mob wife. You know they're considered middle class, right? Have you guys noticed, like, how long my alt just does not last versus how every single Seraphine has, like, a two-minute alt? Has anybody else noticed this? Like, my alt barely ever stuns, but for every other Seraphine player, it's like they have the most magnificent, most effective fucking alts ever, and I can't even alt or make anybody come towards me. Or maybe that's how Riot wrote it. And that's why they were like, there's nothing wrong with Seraphine. Because the way we wrote it never had a problem. Have you guys maybe considered that could be the reason why? You know? That's probably why they're like, I don't understand what you guys are saying. It's not that broken. Probably because you guys were like, probably the only ones scripting on the game to make it unbalanced, right? Because maybe originally the game and the alt was only supposed to last 2-3 seconds and it wasn't supposed to stun that long. But because you guys were rewriting the whole entire reverse engineering everything, it became all kinds of fucked up. So people are like, wow, that's really unfair. But in reality, it was never supposed to last that long. Have you guys thought that could be why? It's just right. It's just like, well, we kind of need the money so we can't say shit. Or it could be the Zoe Quinn. There's just so many options, you know? There's just way too many options. Oh, yeah, and the range. How could I forget? You know how there's this range, right? So for me, I cannot hit outside of it. So that means if I do this, there's also this range. So I don't know if you guys have actually had this, but a lot of Seraphine players, for some reason, you can, like, hit this, right? But it can hit you all the way here. Like, this whole entire region, you just get fucked. And, like, for me, I think Seraphine's balanced because I, <laughs> I can't reach out of that range, right? But I can see why a lot of you guys are like, wow, that's kind of broken because how the fuck do they reach that? See what I'm saying? 
Like, that stun is really not as long as a lot of other people have been able to do. Have you guys noticed? Like, I don't know if you've seen this, but a lot of Seraphine, like, Seraphine main players, they can stun you for, like, close to, like, almost the whole entire minute because you literally end up dying super fucking fast. And you're like, wow, I didn't know I was stunned for that fucking long. Like, Jesus. So, I don't know. I welcome any other Seraphine main players to compare and contrast how the fuck you're able to do that when I'm literally on support presets. So I'm pretty sure I'm doing the right thing here and it's not like I have damage. Right? I mean, Riot put tank items in a preset. In a support preset. So I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong. Right? We already know you try to report Meteos, and then if it wasn't Meteos, you guys trying to send an e-girl to fuck over Dopa, and Dopa was known to be a booster, so I don't know how the fuck you're, like, helping your situation right now by snitching on everybody. Well, then don't play at all, right? Just buy accounts, or buy boosts, because clearly getting coached is too difficult for you because now you don't want to play because you're like, I want a guaranteed diamond fucking account. If I can't guarantee a diamond account, I don't want to play anymore. So, I mean, coaching is kind of out of the question, right? Because if you actually got coaching, you'd be like, damn it, I'm still not in diamond. I don't want to play anymore, right? So, you tell me. And this time, hopefully, you'll actually keep your word. Because <clears throat> you guys have said multiple times, yeah, we'll keep playing, yeah, we'll keep playing, but the prize pool has been shit. Nobody buys any fucking skins. And literally anybody who used to pay to play aren't doing that anymore, so clearly they're not in support of you. Thank you guys, that shit was very broken, thank you very much. <laughs> but my point is, like, you guys have promised Riot a lot of money, you know, whether it's prize pool merchandise um or skins and it seems like everything has dropped since we all pulled out because we didn't want you to take credit for our money spent and i think a lot of us got really tired of it because you guys were just mocking and taunting riot being like you don't have receipts ha <laughs> ha you know you're never gonna quit no matter how shit we treat you you're never gonna fucking quit that's right bitch i know you fucking need this shit so i'm gonna fuck your shit up right that's what you guys been have pretty much doing until i came and then you were calling the FBI on almost every single hacker when most of the time these people don't even fucking bother me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't disrespect them and they don't fuck with me. So the only people I continuously talk shit to, talk shit to, about underage grooming is e-girls. So I can't really think of anybody who's trying to attack me unless they're pedophiles. Pretty much, right? Well, the whole map is, like, not being pushed, so what do you want me to do? I'm not gonna fuck over the community when I know damn well this is how you guys get paid. <coughs> That's why I purposely pick weak supports that I know should never be able to carry the game. And since we're talking about win trading, I don't think a lot of people care, right? Because you're gonna get them fucked up regardless, right? So when you say, they're never gonna get FBI protection, I don't think they care. Right. It was more of you calling the FBI and the FBI actually thinking that you were an innocent person. I don't think they ever mattered, right? Does that kind of make sense? So for me, I'm not going to fuck over their community. I understand that a lot of you guys have purposely denied them of jobs, deny them of promotions, and ensure that they were fired over stuff that never happened. Does that make sense? So, if anything, I hope these things help you guys and you guys sue them for a few million dollars. And force the companies to implement new policies so they never have any legal obligation to ever hire these motherfuckers again. And enjoy those few million dollars. Especially when it comes to a tech company, they don't really sue like 50000 or 10000 They usually sue for a few million because they're like, that's a lot of money lost and it's a lot of reputation fucked up. Because now they have legal government documentation of 
federal employee viol employment violations, I guess, kind of thing. I think that's why that guy was just straight up to prison. It wasn't even just like, oh, yeah, we're going to sue for the profit lost or anything like that. They were just like, this is unacceptable. We're just going to criminally charge you because we don't ever want to have to deal with you or, like, be threatened that we're blacklisting. Like, we're not blacklisting. You know? Does that kind of make sense? Because I think a lot of people were like confused. They're like, oh, how come, how come that Uber trade secret guy, like how come this has to do a lot with esports? because a lot of times, a lot of people who work for right, they're like, oh, nothing's going to happen to me. You know, I'll just take all these like trade secrets. I'll just help this person out. Nothing's going to happen to me. Like I'll just hide behind riot and nothing's ever going to happen to me. No matter how fucked up I am to everybody I work with. And I think for us who actually want to play the game and I don't know I can't speak for other employees but if you actually truly care about the game which I have seen then it would kind of be like a victory because it's kind of like it's no longer you can hide behind the corporation and pretend like you can just get away with everything because he's going to federal prison and now it's no longer like oh yeah Google's trying to blacklist me from future job opportunities it's like bro you went to prison why would we hire you when you went to prison for releasing private secrets for a company? It wasn't just like, you know, he was trying to survive and pay the phone, the bills. It was like, this guy literally exposed company secrets after signing a contract that he wouldn't. Does that kind of make sense? Maybe if you didn't sign a contract and it was like, okay, you know, this guy is a complete victim of the system, you know, capitalism, it was unfair advantage, denied college applications, stuff like that, you know, but it wasn't any of that. You're in a very high position at Google, given probably better opportunities than anybody else. So how the fuck would you take advantage of all of that and fuck over the people putting food on your table? Does that kind of make sense? I mean, we can go over the case like word by word and event by event, if you like, through the justice.gov site. If, you know, you guys think you can continue doing what you're doing and get away with it. I mean, I try to explain it with a Dread Pirate Robbers thing, but I don't think they get it. <laughs> Well, that's kind of the point of tweeting to the FBI because they're like, yeah, what if Christine scripting? I'm like, I'm literally inviting the FBI to look at my streams. You really think I'm stupid enough to allow the FBI to monitor every single thing I do and still script thinking that I'm not going to get arrested? Are you really that fucking stupid? If anything, you're kind of embarrassing yourself because you're calling the FBI for help and they're seeing that you're the one scripting. So like, <laughs> I feel like you're just like completely fucking yourself here. Does that kind of make sense? Because originally it's like, oh my gosh, okay, maybe this guy is a fucking victim. Like, maybe this guy is getting hacked or something like that, right? But it's kind of like, I think because I was, like, tweeting the FBI, they're actually watching it too now. Because, okay, so how do I say this? The FBI doesn't just, like, let's not say the FBI. Let's say it's a police investigation, right? I understand you guys might have kind of like a skewed view of it, but hypothetically, if it was legal and they're legal and they're not corrupt, hypothetically speaking, they're supposed to see your report, look through it, see if it's valid, see if there's anything that's illegal and then decide, right? I understand there's a lot of corrupt police officers where they just ignore anything you file. So you guys just automatically think like, yeah, it's just going to be whatever the fuck I say because I know they're corrupt, so I'll just bribe a police officer, which is actually a crime, <laughs> by the way. Um, if you give a police officer for anything in exchange, that is considered a bribe and that is illegal. <laughs> uh, no, I remember, I think... No, oh, gosh, what was it? I think it was just a movie. I don't think it was actually a documentary. I don't care. I don't want Seraphine to win. <laughs> no offense or anything. 
<coughs> that's why I'm kind of like, I don't really think Seraphine's actually that broken. She's actually pretty balanced because I cannot actually solo carry any lane. <laughs> Sadly, I feel like Sif. I guess no more solo carry eighty. What does that mean? There is literally no ADC where you can solo and carry. See what I mean? Like, you see how this happens to like a lot of like, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but for some reason, every other person's Seraphine can just do that pew 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 thing everywhere. And I'm just like struggling because I can't fucking hit anything. Well, at this point, it isn't like, oh my gosh, it's win trading. Oh my gosh, it's scripts. It's more like, wow, you really can't play this game. That was what I was trying to do. But then I understand you guys were like trying to allow certain people to play, but then it's not really helpful if most of them are like, I can't get into Diamond. What's the point of hiring a coach? What do you want me to say? No, this is why I like stream sniping, because you know stream sniping is mostly just win trading. So for me, it's actually kind of funny, because it's like, why are they complaining about stream sniping? Does that kind of make sense? Okay, so, <sighs> I just love when people stream snipe, because most of the time, that means they are willing and can and do win trade, but it's like, you can't really ban or find someone for stream sniping. But you can ban and find someone for win trading, right? So I'm just like, why would I not allow stream sniping when stream sniping can find all the people who are getting dopa banned? In exchange for that information, I can get free boosts. You know? Because I can get information that you can't even pay money for. Like, you can literally pay people to do this, but at the end, you're just going to get a bunch of rigged information that isn't even accurate. So, like, I'm literally getting you stuff that not even money can buy. And the more money you offer, the more inaccurate the information, actually. <laughs> so, like, I am fucking brilliant. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually why I won't buy boosts. Or, like, I don't see the point of boosts, because I'm like, honestly, with the information that I have... And knowing who got them banned, I can literally get any rank I want. <laughs> well, I want to say that second part. <laughs> well, it's not like you can really report to anybody, right? I can. But you can't. <laughs> You guys don't even know what the fuck a fake Valor is. Okay, I don't want to say that second part, but I'll just say the first part. <laughs> yeah, the whole getting the bounty hunter removed and then allowing a bunch of Twitch e-girls online, that's probably not making you too many friends in the law enforcement. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know... Not really. I feel like that's kind of framing them because now it makes it seem like, oh yeah, you know, they want to allow like all this to happen, but it's kind of like, I don't think they're the ones, I think like, I think that's kind of probably why the Narcos guy got fucking shot. You know what I mean? Because it's like, if you listen to some of the stuff she was saying about smuggling drugs, like, and you think about like, how and who, I guess? 
What was okay? So remember when Novaru or whatever she was talking about like smuggling drugs or something, and how she enjoyed doing it, and then you compare that to like the narco scout who was telling everybody where the fuck to find and know everything. I mean, for me, if she ends up dead, I'll be like, well, you know, you probably should not be talking about that stuff. You know, <laughs> like that's not really public information <laughs> available to everybody. So, to me, if she ends up dead, I'll be like, ooh, they cracking down. I want you guys talking. Ooh, you in trouble. I mean, the whole YouTuber's head getting chopped off and stuff, like, that was already a sign for me. That, you know, you probably should never say anything negative because they're probably always watching. And they're definitely more effective than the FBI because you can't be like, oh my gosh, the FBI's corrupt, bro. It's the cartel. Like... <laughs> I, I think the more you fear them, the better and more powerful they are. Because that's what they wanted you to feel. Like, anyways. Well, I'm proving to you guys that Seraphine's not broken. Like, I don't know how in the fuck or where the fuck you guys thought Seraphine was broken, but look, I can barely even clear this fucking wave. I, I don't understand what part of her is fucking broken. Like, I can do more with Syndra, and that's why she's a mid laner, but, like, I can't do this with Seraphine. So, like, for you guys to be like, oh, yeah, Seraphine's hella broken, I mean, if anything, it's probably just scripts. Because clearly playing it right preset and right everything is not really making her very broken at all. <laughs> Like, I, I'm not magically carrying her like a solo, like, you know what I mean? Okay, thank you. I can do more with support Oriana and support Syndra than I can do with support Seraphine. So for you guys to even consider Seraphine a broken champion right now, I, I don't think you guys are really playing it based on how Riot written it. I think you guys are definitely scripting or doing something that is not written by Riot because... I'm playing it, and it's not broken at all. Like, Syndra's definitely broken a little bit as support. <laughs> but <laughs> definitely not Seraphine, man. I'm sorry. Well, I can't take down the minions. That's, that's a huge problem. <laughs> Any mid lane support should be able to take down at least minions, right? I can't even fucking do that. <laughs> like, how, how is she broken? Like, I can't. There's... What? <laughs> What am I broken about? Like, I don't understand. Boosted? Win trading? Like, I don't understand. Probably because none of us are actually... You see how, like, I couldn't be... My thing doesn't come up? That's what's supposed to happen when you have an actual stun. Anything else is just a script. Because when Riot does it... You're not supposed to be able to see anything. Like, nothing is supposed to be able to use. And that's what I was complaining about, like, a while ago, where I was like, okay, if this guy can stun me without using their ult to the point where I can't even use my sums, then what the fuck is the point of using sums? And I think that's where it's either a script, or Riot really wrote it that way, but I don't think Riot would write it that way if I can't even play Sivir W on a fucking turret. Okay? <laughs> so... Oh my gosh, so 11 feathers? I think I got up to like 11 something, and then after 11 something, it just like jumped right back to like... No, 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 it didn't jump to zero. I think it got very fast back down to very small numbers. <laughs> so... This game sucks. Um, I think this is a pretty typical... How do I say this? Typical diamond? No, challenger game. I think this is a pretty normal challenger game, in my opinion.
I mean, I'll pay you guys, but you guys keep getting banned. So, like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I'm not going to give them my goddamn money. It's fucking insane. <coughs> Anyways, um, rotate to drag. 20 to 20. What the fuck is he talking about? Oh, my God. This guy's the one who's boosted. Um, <laughs> Okay, so I think I spend too much time with you guys. <laughs> so, like, I gotta know what's going on now. That's kind of why I don't ELO boost and I don't do a lot of these things because I feel like a lot of it is fuck. Close enough. Hold on, that's kind of why I was talking about the criminal hacker groups and- oh shit. And why I said I don't want to join because a lot of times this is already violating federal copyright laws, right? And we all know how the whole thing got worse and worse and worse, right? Well, the people who can do it legally and want to do it legally are trying their best to do it legally. So, like, I don't understand what- what your concept is and for you to threaten people from other countries being like <sighs> I think you guys need to learn well actually I don't think they should learn because I feel like they would just embarrass us <laughs> like I actually don't want them to leave the country because like what if they leave the country and then they just like fucking embarrass the shit out of us they leave our country and go to Europe and like they say the same stu- okay so here let me give you guys an example of what I'm talking about so say online, they hide behind the FBI and then they're like, oh my gosh, you know, like, you're fucking a scripter and la 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 And then they go into CSGO and don't- no wait. They do this shit to people like me who actually don't know how to do any of this and it's like, ha ah, ha you suck, you're fucking- you suck at this, you can't script, you fucking belong in iron, you fucking piece of shit. And I'm like, bro, I can see everything you're fucking doing because I know what it is and I just choose not to do it. And they're like, oh, and then it's like, they go into Dota and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to call the FBI on you guys. And then they go into Europe and they're like, you guys can't come into our servers because you guys are fucking scripting and hacking our whole entire thing. And then they get a region lock and they're like, yeah, I'm going to go to fucking Europe and fuck some bitches. And then they get fucking like murdered or some shit. I'll be like, yeah, see, it's not illegal there. <laughs> it's just illegal here. But even then they respect us because they know how to fucking play the game without using scripts. You're just kind of the only idiot who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. That's kind of why I didn't mind tweeting the FBI directly because I was like, you realize, like, these guys are talking a lot about scripts, but honestly, it really isn't. <laughs> they just don't know how to play a fucking game. Well, I didn't really explain it to the FBI in a way where they have to know how to play the game. I kind of explained it to them using data and pretty much your IP, public IP address, and being like, see, told you. How did I do that? Well, when I report it, and I report it to Riot, and then I screenshot the game, and I say, hey, I think they're doing something, it's kind of like either Riot employees are not telling them the truth. Well, I'm pretty sure that the FBI can download the game by themselves, too, and figure it out. Good point. Good point. That way you know which ones. Ooh, that's smart. Thank you. Good point.
I don't want to repeat it anymore. Well, hypothetically speaking, once you download the game, you can easily reverse engineer the game. So, I don't really think of that. But that is very true. Probably really stupid on Riot's end, but hey. <laughs> I guess legally it is protected, but... I don't understand the point of these things. Like, they're so meaningless at this point. Like, who the fuck even cares? Um. But yeah. That was actually a really good point. But, um, do I think they're fully protected? Yeah, of course they are. That's kind of why I tweeted the FBI like that. Because I was just like, honestly, like... I don't think you can do as bad to them as I think a lot of other people do. <laughs> so I just straight up said it like that. I only said it like that, thank you, because I didn't really want the FBI. I didn't want people to be like, oh, the FBI is useless. I'm like, I mean, what do you want them to do? All they're going to do is arrest you, like, and then you're just going to go in jail and then start tweeting from jail. Like, do you really think that's a punishment? Or we can just allow them to join the criminal organizations and probably end up dismembered one day. It's the latter. And I think a lot of... Okay, so this is kind of where the idea of they don't help criminals come in. Because it's kind of like, well, if they protect one criminal, what is the difference between your criminal and that criminal? Like, what's the difference between protecting you versus protecting them, you know? And I feel like, to them, that's just the whole entire fucking, like, Pandora's box. Thank you. Where it's like, you let one in and it's just like a floodgate of just, like, bullshit. But, um... I'm talking a lot and I'm not actually playing the game, so I'm going to purposely play weak supports. So you guys can all shit on the goddamn shitty e-girl fucking picks. Because that's what we all think anyways. We all think the same thing of, how in the fuck did a Nami main get into fucking Challenger? Well that bitch sure ain't paying shit, because the price pools are shit. And we all know damn well ain't nobody spending no money. I got car payments, bitch. I ain't got time for this shit. So does literally everybody else. So, until you can come up with a win-win situation for 99% of the people involved, I don't think any of us are going to be spending any money anytime soon. <laughs> I say we because we have car payments. Like, nobody's just going to take care of us. Okay. <laughs> Sorry! Okay, I don't want my mom to take care of me. I actually tried to pay my own car payments, but somebody keeps getting me fucking fired. So, at first, I was just like, man, I don't understand this Alexander Vind Vindman stuff. But after so many personal fucking experiences trying to uphold what is right and following the rules, I think there's a lot that we have in common now. So originally, I may not have been a fan of the military, but because of everything that happened to me, I am quite a fan of him at this point. I mean, think about it. If I was never fired because of that, I would actually have to side with you, right? I would be like, wow, that's never happened to me. I can't relate. But I can. Dude, okay, so I was working with a military veteran. And you know what Best Buy fucking gave him as a veteran's gift? A goddamn closet. Thank you for your service. Have a closet. Like, no fucking TV. Nothing to help his rent. Nothing to help his life. But yet, he sacrificed his life to protect your fucking freedom. All he got was a goddamn closet. What in the fuck are you even supposed to do with a fucking closet? That's Best Buy for you. 
So if you're a veteran, don't ever fucking go to that goddamn establishment because they think of you guys as a goddamn closet. That's how much they think you're fucking worth. A fucking closet. Not even a TV. Not even a goddamn stereo. A fucking closet. Thank you for your service. Have a fucking closet. I'm glad that pissed you off. Don't even fucking look at me. I'm fucking Chinese. The policies work. It's just the motherfuckers that work there. And God knows who the fuck decided. Yeah, let's give this veteran a goddamn closet for his service. He doesn't need a fucking TV because that's why he got a job at fucking Best Buy, right? He got a job because he wanted a fucking closet. You know why I'm pissed? Because a lot of people aren't going to spend the time to be like, okay, you know what? Maybe it's not the Chinese. They're going to be like, well, Best Buy was controlled by the fucking Chinese people, so it's probably just the fucking Chinese. I would not give him a goddamn closet. Okay? We all fucking know me. I would not give him a fucking closet for sacrificing almost his whole fucking life for me. Okay? I would not give him a fucking closet. So don't even try and be like, oh yeah, it's the fucking Chinese. That's why Best Buy's is fucked up. Bitch, I got fired from Best Buy for trying to uphold every single American value there fucking is. Don't even try and say that's fucking Chinese. I mean, without the military, what protection are you going to have? Wasn't that your only fucking scapegoat to fuck over Tencent? I'm pretty sure I've proved that it has more to do with the riot employees and the dirty cops than it actually does have to do with the Chinese. There was no master plan. Asians immigrate to America for a better life. Asians immigrate to America because we want better education. Because your academic institutions are higher ranked than any academic institution in our country. That's why we come over here. Because we want to go to your schools. That's the truth. We don't try to take it away from you guys. We don't try to steal it from you guys. We don't try to change anything. We respect it. And we agree with it. That's kind of why I'm always talking about Takashi69. Because I'm like, almost every single game-related rule there is in existence, he's broken it, and he's still alive. <laughs> so, I don't, like, I personally don't see the point of keeping him alive, because he's broken every single rule. In my eyes, he's supposed to be dead. <laughs> so, for me, I don't understand it. So, I, like, what do you want me to say or do about it? it makes no sense to me. I thought people who did that were supposed to be dead. Well, it's not really me testing it, right? Because I'm like, I thought I was supposed to be dead. That's why I didn't do it. So how is that person still alive? Well, I'm not the one going around killing people. What the hell? You guys were the ones that said, hey, if you do this, you're dead. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to do it. So I'm alive. But then it's like, okay, so how come you said if I do this, I would be dead, but that person's still alive? Like, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure we were talking about Takashi.
so <laughs> remember my idea to hit the minion so then that it would like go to the other thing that didn't work just now i don't know if you guys saw it but uh i did it and then it went back to him <laughs> so that was a failed plan there sorry Okay, this guy's fucking insane. I can't be pushing. <laughs> this guy like wants to die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, if you want to die, then you want to die. I'm not going to stop you. play some music oh yeah I was gonna play from there oh my gosh but I hate how it slows down my computer though <laughs> oh my god I'm not pissed off I'm not trying to protect the military like you have to understand like the military is mad at me because they think I'm the one doing it because I'm Chinese and it's like bro why in the fuck would I ever do that to you <laughs> But it, I understand it's pretty misleading considering there's a lot of older Asians than me who have done it to the military. So I completely understand. But. Oh yeah, I, I said I was going to use it. Oh fuck. I'm not going to lie. Um, I can actually get it re-uploaded very easily and probably the only reason why I would ever hire an editor is to like go through it. Well, actually I could have done it myself, but I don't want to do it myself again. That was a lot of pain. That was a lot of work. <laughs> um, so pretty much if I hired an editor, I would just have to give them a copy of everything that I have and they would, autom not automatically, oh gosh, they would easily be able to remove just the audio. Oh my gosh, who is this? I'm not trying to win games. What the hell? Where's my mechanics? I'm never going to have my mechanics. My S5 mechanics. No. <laughs> yeah, but you guys just blackmail everybody in fucking challenger anyway so why why would i want to be part of your blackmail extortion like what wow why did he play pike against ezreal <laughs> i know how i can help You lube up a massive dildo, and you shove it right up his ass. Clearly, whoever thought of the idea is clearly a <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, as Nami, I can't do anything without mana. <laughs> oh, 
my god. <laughs> oh, this is a painful game. Painful game, man. Painful game. Do I think it's funny what the way we're playing right now? I think it's painful and really dumb. Like, you know how like when you win games, you're moving a step forward, right? Like, I feel like I'm constantly moving steps backwards and like, <laughs> like, I feel like I'm not actually getting better because every time you get better, you have to get worse. And it's just like, is this really moving forward or is this just like a straight step backwards? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like, uh... I think it's the fact that none of us gave a shit and we just all just didn't do or say shit for the longest time because we're just like, fuck it, dude. Honestly, you can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> and then soon it has exploded into like. We could have killed him. No, I, I couldn't because I don't have damage. If I went AP, yeah, probably, possibly could be, but. I am on support rooms. I ain't got shit. I don't have anything, senor. Wait, hold on. Is it funny or what? <laughs> Did you see my mouse? <laughs> oh, man. Here. Oh, where are the fingers? Well, I'm not going to let people suffer for no fucking reason. Like, he used to help me carry so many fucking TVs. And he used to cover me almost every single time when I had nobody else to cover for me. And that's kind of the military and cop people that I'm used to, like, growing up with. So to me, a lot of times, I actually listen and look at a lot of the Blue Lives and Black Lives Matter stuff. Because I'm like, damn, how could this person be so fucked up and fuck everything up for literally everybody? Even though, like, the real good people can't say or do shit. And they're just completely taking advantage of it because a lot of times it's actually pretty illegal to be talking about stuff like that. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you're just, like, telling everybody all the military secrets and I'm pretty sure most of that is just illegal because you're not supposed to be doing that. So, for me, I'm just like, holy fuck, how can someone be such a piece of shit and you literally almost died for this person, like, Jesus. And that's kind of where I got a lot of the idea of, like, what's the point, like, you know? And then that's kind of why I started really poking you guys and being like, yeah, your kids are going to end up like me with no college degree, no education because they're fucking pieces of shit. I mean, yeah, a lot of times cops would probably most likely help me because I share a lot of the same values and understand the shit that they go through. But like, it's illegal, so don't do it. <laughs> He's already did this thing to this guy once, and he's still trying. I'm not trying to fucking use moron, man. You realize they're playing against a Nami who has no damage, <laughs> like <laughs> nothing, nothing, and they're like, "Oh my god, I'm so good, man! You fucking suck." Oh yeah, and I also don't ever fucking play this game. This is why I don't ever want to buy a challenger account, because I'm like, man, I'm gonna be surrounded by all these goddamn idiots and there's not gonna- like, I can't say shit, you know? Like, one of the things that I hate the most about challengers is they always talk shit, you know? And it's funny because it's like, most people who actually know how to play the game don't talk shit. They're just like... And then they let their gameplay do the talking, you know? No, Tyler1 is more like, you know how he's really into wrestling? So if you understand how wrestling and how that works, it's definitely more of a wrestling persona 
more than him actually being like that. It's just like the wrestling type of person. Like, I don't like wrestling for that reason because I think it's really dumb. Anyways, I don't like actors. I don't like celebrities. I don't. Oh my god. All right, never mind. I don't know why mid keeps staying open like this because I go to whatever lane is open and if mid is gonna continuously be open like shit I guess I'm going I think it's funny because I really is like really scared that I'm gonna do damage and it's like <laughs> if you only knew how to play the fucking game You'd be like, damn, this bitch doesn't have shit. <laughs> and she's scripting. Why does she do that? Well, think about it, right? She's right under the turret, so if I healed, it could possibly have been a pretty easy death. Does that kind of make sense? So, for me, I personally don't care. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't like playing with challengers who talk shit because most of the time, I know they're being elo boosted or they're being... They're win trading, but then I don't want to fuck it up for you guys who are selling accounts and getting selling boosts. So then I'm like, well, if I can't actually help you guys in Challenger, then I might as well help you in Iron. Because I know a lot of these people are like trying to do this shit. And I'm just like... I mean, I don't know what Brain Cell hasn't already figured that out, but... I'm not win trading, I'm playing fucking Nami on support runes and I have like, how much damage do I have? 55. That That's how much Raya has decided to give me. <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand how e-girls get into fucking like, challenger like this. Like, she just like wander around like... Genuinely curious how this works. In a solo queue climbing situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the whole point of solo queue does not mean like it's a game mode. It means you are climbing and playing the game by yourself, randomly picking other people to be on your team. It does not mean, hey, let's get into Discord and let's all play together. That's not solo queue. Solo queue might be a mode, but that's not solo queue. Does that kind of make sense? So you know how a lot of girls are like, oh god, what was that fucking game mode with the cannon thing? Okay, let's just use Star Guardian as an example. So a lot of e-girls, they think like, oh yeah, solo queue means like we're gonna play Doom Bots or something. Or like we're gonna play... <sighs> yeah, I don't even know those modes because I don't even fucking play that shit. But I think a lot of e-girls think like it's a mode. You know, it's like a normals or like thank you or like bot games and it's like that's not what solo queue means solo queue means you are playing a game by yourself going by yourself with nobody with you to play the game that's what it means to be in solo queue right because everything else is hypothetically saying illegal right you cannot rig the thing you cannot queue together with other people you can't buy accounts you can't boost accounts so hypothetically everything else is illegal and can't get you banned right so that's not what anybody meant by solo queue but i have a feeling that i just realized right now that that's their definition of solo queue and why they're like yeah you know i'm hella good at solo queue i'm like My What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, but you realize that's not really solo queuing, right? You're just getting carried by a bunch of people and that's why I don't like playing Nami, right? Fucking. 
what does that mean? So, I would have to agree with the uh, old players. I like to always say S1 players because like, <laughs> there's a lot of people who are S1 players that have S1 values. But there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, I'm OG. I've been here since the game started, you know? And it's like, they... So I prefer to say S1. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say before I get toxic again. What in the world am I building? Oh, man. Riot really hates the fact that I build... You know, I think the funnest part about Leafy's video is reading his subtitles. <laughs> his auto generated his subtitles. <laughs> Alright, anyways, don't judge me. Why are we all going in the same direction? Are we are we gonna die? <laughs> no, you know how like all solo queue games, whenever everybody <laughs> goes in the same direction? <laughs> It's like a super throw, and everybody usually 90% of the time just ends up dead. <laughs> and it's like, uh oh, GG, <laughs> GG. Oh my gosh, no. I don't trust this, man. This is solo queue. I don't trust this. <laughs> this isn't really the same rig that everybody was talking about. <laughs> you know why? Okay, so you know stuff like that where like I'm trying to do it and like I'm in the range and I'm it's it's everything, right? You know why they don't like you know why that script happens? Because most of the time when you're about to do that one thing that's gonna kill, they you know so Well pro players can't do that, you know? You can't be on the fucking everybody and you're just like someone's going to get you in trouble. Now that's rigged. <laughs> Ooh, he's deep in there. One trick as real. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so stupid sometimes. You realize this because as real players keep happening like this, so I'm just like, honestly. If I can't play with you guys, then I'm gonna find the problem. And as soon as I fix that fucking problem, we're gonna get our game. Well, technically, if you think about it, you are the problem, right? And if you're the problem and you didn't exist, then technically we could play our game, right? Well, I think we have we, I say we because it wasn't just me. I just gave you guys the numbers and you guys figured it out. So technically, we figured out a way that we don't need their money anymore. <sighs> technically, it's not really me because I don't want to manage shit. I just want to replace everybody. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, I would like to thank my Starbucks manager for teaching me what it means to keep employees, I guess. I mean, for me, I'm in tech, so everything's replaceable, but she works in food service and actual customer service, and she's like, you can't do this to people. I don't know what she's talking about, so you guys are going to have to ask her, because she's the manager, I'm just the follower. Okay, so would you rather work with that guy or the frat boy? Exactly. Holy shit. We could have won that. I mean, clearly, did you not see how many died? <laughs> That's 
what I'm saying. Like, imagine if we all just did this. Hold on. If we all just wait, hold on. Maybe I need tanking. Okay, so if we met, like, nobody would ever question why it's Challenger ever again, you know? Like, think about it, okay? People would be like, oh my gosh, that's rigged. No, it's not. Try doing it. And they won't. And they'll be like, oh my god. Use your ult for that. <laughs> what? I, I didn't tell him to ult. I was gonna flash. You know why he didn't want that to happen? Because of that. He would have died sooner. See what I'm saying? So a lot of their scripts make sense, but if you think about it, like if you're on stage, you're not really gonna be allowed to do that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but most of us, we already know what the hell's going on. We're like, eh, money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I'm like, I'm not really sure what problem you guys are talking about. Like, it doesn't exist amongst us. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, with all, what, 80 of my AP, man. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do lots of damage here. Yeah, but it's funny because it's like if they ever want to start their company, they still have to come to America. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's why she uses those scripts. Because if she doesn't, see how much effort she has to do just to kill me. That's why people like that should never belong in Challenger, because usually they're the problem. And even if they do pro play, they're gonna probably be the one person to be like, oh my god, oh my god. And I think that was the problem that you guys were talking about, right? I rather just not lie than sound. Does that kind of make sense? When you do stuff like that, there's still the. 80% chance what you're saying is going to come back and haunt you because you're not saying exactly what's going on. So the the possibility of it being taken out of context and being used against you because of what you said and how you said it and the context that you said it in. <sighs> yeah, let me let me hit you with all 80 of my AP, man. I'm sure we would carry lanes with 80 AP, guys. Why is this so weak? Because I kept choosing using everything else. I think Zaya is a really cheap ADC because she has a lot of range. Everybody's like, Bane's the best ADC! And I'm like, man, you guys are fucking insane. <laughs> Why did I say fucking insane? Because you know how like, I'm like, oh yeah, Ash is the best because for me, I like range. That's exactly, that's my point. 
That's why I stopped playing ADC, because you guys are too savage! <sighs> okay, hold on. No, that's the wrong item. <laughs> they all look the same. Wow, this guy sucks. See? How do I know this? Because you guys have damage. So I know you guys have damage. And that's kind of why I was like... Let's just play Nami. Am I working tomorrow? I think I am. What should we name this? Hey, I already respected him by not saying it when I was still employed there. I, I respected him enough to say that. I mean, not say it, sorry. <laughs> But I no longer work there, so I can talk all the shit I want. I don't give a fuck. I'm not the one who's not gonna get protection. I don't give a fuck! Oh shit, wrong place. Huh. Okay, I can barely carry stuff with my upper arm. What makes you think I can punch a person? You guys are fucking delusional. I mean, if it's the truth, I guess I can't really avoid it, can I? <laughs> Um, I eat turmeric and ginger root every other day because they're disgusting. And I think it's making me constipated. Because <laughs> it's too hot. It's supposed to give me diarrhea? Well, it's not giving me diarrhea. Yeah, what are they typing? Do I want to play anymore? Uh, I feel like I'm in Challenger, so not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really interested in Challenger games. They just all look like this. I'm trying to enjoy a troll game with my friends. I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to, like, suffer right now. <laughs> That's actually where I got the idea of just botting. Because I was just like, you guys are all just gonna be miserable fucking people. You wonder why bad luck follows them everywhere they go. Ooh. What am I doing? Uh, can you not tell what I'm doing? Vitamins has made me fat? Uh, no. Eating has made me fat. <laughs> what are you talking about? You have to time what you eat. You can't just be like, I ate and then now I forgot that I ate. I'm gonna eat again. Don't eat junk food. It's like fucking empty food. You can eat like 50 things and you're still gonna be hungry. Uh oh. That was a miss. Is that why I don't eat junk food? No, junk food just makes me sick. It makes me really bloated and I'm still hungry. You know how some people, they're like, wow, I really like to chew stuff. I don't. I just want to be full. What?
so I'm not a little bitch. Okay, you know when you're an athlete and then you're just like, all right, I'm not gonna be a little bitch about this. I'm gonna fucking get that gold medal. Fuck this shit. So, <laughs> most of the time, I think that way. So like, even though I'm like, man, this is a terrible fucking idea, I'm like, fuck, I really want a goddamn win right now. Okay, I'm missing something, which is folic acid. Okay, one of these things is making me gassy. <gasps> it's probably the turmeric or the ginger root. No, it's probably the fucking junk food. What do I think about what? The whole closet thing? Well, think about it, right? If, um, if a bomber is on my plane and they know a bomber is gonna be on my plane. Is that gonna make sense? But it's not like you guys leave the country or anything, so what the fuck would you know? <laughs> Man, if you guys knew half the shit that certain people had to do, you'd be so disappointed. <sighs> well, I always use this example. People are like, how do you know right from wrong? Um, so if I stabbed you in the fucking face, would you say that's a good thing or a bad thing? Because if you can't tell good or bad, then you would probably say that's a great thing. Please stab me more, right? But you don't. You say, that's kind of fucked up and I hope you get arrested. So you clearly know right from wrong, right? I mean, if you greet people by stabbing them in the face and that's how you show you love them, then fuck it. You know what? I give up. Why did I get this? I got this because I didn't want to carry this around. And I kept fucking spilling it because I couldn't, like, just drop it in my mouth. Because my throat isn't that big. Okay. Am I missing a day? Oh, I, I am missing a day. Look at this beautiful thing from Walgreens. Um, I like my job just because I work with women, mostly. Like, I work with only one man, like, once or twice a week, which is far great. Not a huge fan of working with men. Man, this thing just smells like vinegar. Why don't, I just, why don't I just eat more vinegar? This thing opens so easily that like... I don't think it's made the best. There's a lot of vitamins here. Oh. I want to talk about my shortcoming. What are shortcomings? They're called weaknesses and mistakes. You know, if this thing didn't have like zinc or something, and if elderberries weren't like bad for you when you eat too much, I would probably just eat that as candy. Um.
Thank you. We cross. <laughs> I'm not fixing that. I'm pretty sure my eyes are getting crossed. Because I can't fucking see. <laughs> I kind of want to go to sleep. <sighs> if you ever want to know why Taiwanese people don't like to be called Chinese people, Oh yeah, Chinese people really like throwing trash all over the place. That's like a huge problem. Littering and defecating in public. Two things that they tend to do very often. Americans disrespect people a lot. Like, they don't really respect people's culture. Oh my gosh, that one time a Chinese. Oh my gosh, Chinese tourist steals toilets or something. Thank God I don't do that. They all look really creepy. Or is it me?
I don't even understand this. Huh. There's a sense that the new rich are tacky and some of these people engage in the tackiest displays of their wealth. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want the best, we just want the most expensive. Hey, that is so true, actually. Because sometimes the best is... Anyways. Um... Is this thing written by an Asian person? <laughs> you see, like, whenever cars become like that, it's not really luxurious, right? It's just, like, common. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I'm sorry. Not to be... Ungrateful or whatever. What am I playing? We got the gin. Ooh, Varus. Senna. I don't want to play a tank. Let's play Sona. This is gonna suck. I don't know if I can play anymore. Like, I can't play that rune anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna run myself into a wall. Because wealth. This is written by a British person. Q? Q jumping is a very European way of saying stuff. We wait in line in America, okay? Hello? Where? Why? Oh. Do I work tomorrow? I think I work tomorrow. Yeah, you Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh man, I need to take a. Oh my gosh. 
doing it. <laughs> you know, every time he does this, it just sounds like, oh my gosh, you're so inappropriate, I'm sorry. I can't play without pings. I wanted to ward. I didn't even want to. What the fuck?
my god, I'm boosted. <laughs> Why you guys give me kills? I don't want kills! Sorry, I only have one more right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, right? It's freaking broken. I told you he was gonna ult. <laughs> Fuck, he told you. How did I know? It's like, okay, I don't, I don't predict people based on the cooldowns. I predict it based on how they play and how they lane. And he just seemed like that type of person. Yeah, exactly. Just too easy. <laughs>
told you I couldn't play like that no more. <laughs> Maybe I should tank a little bit more just so you guys can get some more time. <sighs> Riot really put a lot of thinking into this one. <laughs> Man. It's like I can't build tanky because then I wouldn't have any mana. But then I can't not build mana and then what the fuck am I supposed to- I can't buy time for my team. Damn it, they should have used you as a bait. Damn, what a range. Pretty sure I wasn't that close, Faye. Like, he's like running from me, like, I do like a shit ton of damage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I know, but that's also why I purposely didn't build it. Here, we'll take the guessing out of it. Remember, I am Sona, so I cannot heal you from far away. I have to get close enough to heal you. So, I have to be trolling like this, because if I don't troll like this, then I can't heal you. So, it's not that I want to be trolling right in front of them and get fucking minion blocked. It's because I have to. Coming. It's because I'm losing my voice. Freaking exhausting, you guys. <laughs> See? You're so predictable. We have really bad synergy.
more broken <laughs> than, <laughs> than anything. You realize my cooldown hasn't even gotten there yet, right? Oh my gosh, I got stuck. <laughs> I don't want kills, remember? It's more fun to play with like no gold. You're really taking advantage of this art. Oh my goodness. What is this game? This is kind of like a challenger game, honestly. Is that why I was so far away? I mean, I was already running out of mana. I don't, I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> but, uh...
Oh my god. <laughs> You know why I always do that? Because I don't want to win that way. I think it's a terrible thing to be good at. But if you think that is a wonderful thing, then by all means. But I'm telling you, it's not. Gosh, why do you guys keep being me so? Oh my gosh, why?
Oh my gosh, what was that game? Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't want to wake up late. Thank you, and goodbye.